All right, so this question was, is it possible to have a patient with a Dawson class 2 and not be in centric relation and have no discomfort unloading? Um, so uh, Greg and I were talking for a few seconds ago, and, and Andre, if you're on the, 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 the discussion right now, if we're not answering this correctly, please make sure you type it in the chat box there and let us know. Um, we're, I'm assuming that you're asking about the Dawson classification of occlusion um, and, and what that means as far as the occlusion in reference to the joint. And so a class two occlusion is somebody that has to displace either from centric relation uh, and leave centric relation to go into intermaximum cuspation or somebody that is a is a Dawson class 2A, which is somebody that would be have an adapted centric posture, like let's say a lateral pole displacement, and then they also have to go out of that adapted centric posture to have maximum intercuspation. So it means they have a hit and slide. Um, so that's what a Dawson class 2 uh, classification of occlusion would mean. And can you have somebody that has no discomfort unloading? Well, absolutely. Um, you know, that's the reality of, you know, probably 90% of the patients that you encounter in your practice that have hit and slides, a, a vast majority of the patients um, are already in an adapted centric posture position or they're in centric relation um, and they have a hit and slide. So it's, it's, not it's not uncommon at all for people to have no discomfort unloading in that type of a situation. Um, Raj, do you have anything you want to add? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, we see that all the time. It's uh, actually the classic occlusal muscle issue. I mean, basically, most of their issues are muscular in nature, and either the joint has already adapted and is loadable, or the joint itself has not suffered any deformity. So that's one of the, the beautiful things to be able to tell a patient, hey, I can correct you with occlusal therapy, and we don't necessarily have a joint that we have to worry about directly at this point. Absolutely. So, Andre, if you're on there, and if you if that's if that's not what you were looking for, um, let us know. Even you know afterwards, we can go back and revisit this question as well. But um, those are those are the great patients, uh, the, the patients that have nice, healthy joints um, that have an, an occlusal muscular type of discrepancy. Those are always the the slam dunk kind of bullseye patients. To get in there and help them with. So, here's to having more of those types of patients. 